Just touch the end of it. Yeah. Just touch the edge of it. Yeah. You know, just let the, let the match drop. There it goes, you got it. Hey, so guys, you see this is from Sodom and Gomorrah. Just to show that what happened in the book of Genesis is real. As you can see that it is a flame, that it is turning blue. And this sulfur is out of this world, yes. literally. So we want to take the time to show you. Come on the other side and smell it. Come on the other side and take a whip. Can you put the light? Can you put more light over here? Oh, you want it dark? Smell that. Sulfur. This is sulfur from like Sodom and Gomorrah. So we want to take a whoa, take a moment to show you what that. Woo, man, that is real. It's intoxicated. It'll su it'll sear your lungs and suffocate oh, you. Hold on, let me do this thing again. You may not be able to smell it through the camera, but over here we can smell the flames. So just to show you that, that the book of Genesis is real, guys. So we just want to have. have I just mentioned Ron Wyatt. Ron Wyatt discovered this first. Ron Wyatt discovered this first, and so we're going to do a follow-up to this, but we want to show it to you live. That no matter where we go, that God is always confirming His word. We could sit here and look. Take them. So look at this, guys. Yes. Turn the light off. <coughs> <laughs> so this is like the judgment that fell from heaven. Mm, yeah. So we want you to see that God's judgment is real. The fumes are bad, man. Wow. Ooh, that's they they, they oh, died, yeah. I think, more from the fumes than from the heat. I mean, the fumes are just like that. literally just, you start gagging and choking from the fumes alone. And he brings tons of this stuff down. So, you know, <laughs> they're yeah, probably trying to run and they yeah. couldn't run because yeah. it, it suffocated them in their lungs. Look at that. Zoom in if you can, Taylor. Just zoom in. Or you can stand back and you can zoom in. Yeah, you see it. You see all the smoke. Remember, Abraham said he's seen like a furnace, like you're going up like a furnace. Remember in the Bible? Yes. He says when he said it's seen it going up like a furnace, you can see how much smoke. Just that little piece. This big one. Yeah. Go, right. Abraham said he seen it going up like a furnace. The smoke ascended up like a furnace. You can see the smoke is ascending up just from this little piece of brimstone that Elohim rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. And there was a lot more than this little piece of uh, brimstone that he rained down. Yes. <laughs> it's very intoxicating. Just this little piece you can barely breathe. You can. It's, it's very, very... Oh. Uh, toxic to your lungs. It sears your lungs and suffocates you. I think that's enough. And that's what it's all about. It's it's that's a testimony 
that's a testimony of of God's word. It's a living testimony that He has for us. Now, Ron Wyatt discovered Noah's Ark, yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. He discovered uh, the chariots underneath the Gulf of Aqaba where they crossed. And God had this all planned out from the foundation of the earth. As you uh, research more and more of what Ron Wyatt discovered, what God led him to discover, because God led him to discover all these things, that it was planned out from the foundation of the earth, especially the Red Sea crossing, the, the crossing at the Gulf of Aqaba, where they crossed over from uh, uh, Pihahi Road to uh, Saudi Arabia, Mount Sinai, and then they went on to Mount Sinai. But they found uh, Mount Sinai with the blackened peak, the 12 pillars that they erected, and uh, it's all there. And now they're going to make, they're talking about making Mount Sinai a, uh, a historical place for tourists to visit in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So they're talking about doing that. So all this has been discovered. Noah's Ark is in, uh, uh, Ron Wyatt found Noah's Ark in uh, uh, Mount Ararat in Turkey. And um, he found the Ark of the Covenant too, uh, just outside of Jerusalem. Uh, right, right where, right where Yeshua was crucified. Uh, Ron White found the Ark of the Covenant. This man was very humble. He loved God, and there is no way he would lie about something like this. No way, and especially for all the other things he discovered. So, research Ron Wyatt, so you can be encouraged in your faith. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. So, hey guys, tune in for another edition of uh, the Bread of Life Show featuring Kana's comments. You just don't know what the Lord is going to show us. So this is where we give the word, talk about the word, eat the word, Bread of Life with the sensational siblings Kana and Justin. See you guys.